Broncos pour it on. 60 minutes of football. Our style, our way, and our house, man. Let's go. Let's go. As laces tie leather, individual stars become the whole when joined as one in a single vision. A solitary mission, written in the lines that carve an old soldier's face, in the eager fire that lights a young man's eyes. Cordell Stewart has it, running for the end zone. It's a foot race, and Cordell Stewart will take it in for the score. Cordell Stewart, quarterback Nouveau, impatient in his drive to win it all. He's brought his team to this moment in but his first year as a starting quarterback. Now he chases his future, while another is pursued by his past. Elway will go home empty for a third straight time in a Super Bowl, third straight time in a Super Bowl, third straight time in a Super Bowl, third straight time. Too often, history can be contrary and cruel in how she handles the legacy. John Elway knows that. This then, perhaps his last best chance to write the final verse. Individual parts drawn together, making up the whole. Today, they decide the AFC Championship. and at Three Rivers Stadium on a beautiful January day, the AFC Championship. The wild cards from the West, the Denver Broncos and the Central Division champion, Pittsburgh Steelers, we welcome you. On their feet, second and ten. Elway guns the ball, intercepted by LeVon Kirkland. Turnover on the second play of the game. That now sends the tight end Bruner in motion. Comes out throwing. Good protection. Down the middle and complete. Broner. All season. And this one hooking. No good. Wide to the left. Terrell Davis yet to carry. Here's his first. Off the left side and finds an opening. He's in the clear at the 45. He's at the 40 and is caught from behind and pulled out of bounds. Inside the Steeler 30-yard line by Carnell. Sharp in motion. The throw complete to McCaffrey, and McCaffrey, the sure-handed wide receiver, has a first one in all those quarters over 70. That was by Davis, who gets the toss. He's at the five. He is in the end zone. The Broncos score first. Boy, did it get quiet in here. Mel High salute. Terrell Davis produces quite a drive of his own. Mason Elam adds the extra point. It is seven nothing Broncos as they go 72 yards in six plays. The capper eight yards from Terrell Davis who scored 15 rushing touchdowns in the regular season. On second and ten. Down the middle. His thick Wearing John Stallworth's number 82. Stewart to run. Cordell Stewart is open. Stewart! Touchdown! The 25-year-old former Colorado star point and the game is tied. Well I had a chance to watch this play in practice the other day. Fake the screen to the left. What it is it's a sweep right with the quarterback after you fake the screen to the left. Good blocking by Damani Dawson out in front. Cordell Stewart the fastest wide uh, quarterback in the National Football League makes it happen. Two of the active quarterbacks. In fact the four quarterbacks that remain can run. Shannon Sharp in traffic. Pulls it in for a first down at the 50. Elway's plenty of time. Open man over the middle is 
Rod Smith. He has his first catch. And Smith, who had two touchdowns. But nobody got close to it, enabled him to look down the field and see the receiver. Terrell Davis smashed at the line of scrimmage. Joel Steed got his 310 pounds in there. They're saying fumble. To... No, Steelers recover. No signal till then. They're in the league. Third and ten shotgun Cordell. The throw down field. First down at the 49 by Yancey Thigpen. At the Denver 45. championship game. The Broncos scored first. The Steelers have answered. Pittsburgh is driving for more. And seven. Bettis hit in the backfield. Breaks loose. Drives to the one. Touchdowns. Second and goal. Bettis. Touchdown Steelers. Steelers lead it 14 to 7. Jerome Bettis acquired two years ago from the Rams in a trade, and what a player he is. He's the Pittsburgh hero. The bus has scored. It's 14 to 7. Signals. Shotgun at third and two. The throw complete to Hebron. And Hebron, who was flanked out, has a first down. Deep, complete, a leaping catch by Rod Smith, who starred in the game against Pittsburgh. So third and ten. Elway throws it away. McCaffrey was the closest receiver. Elway ran out of time. 53 is longest. He drives it. Good. And the Broncos settle for three. It's 14 to 10. Eight minutes, 20 seconds remaining in the opening half here in Pittsburgh. The winner to the Super Bowl, the Steelers, a four-point lead. Of your center. Third and 14, and Elway can't get rid of it. The sack to Bell. Boo Bell. Second and a short two. Stewart looking for something big. Intercepted in the end zone by Steve Atwater. No, it was not Atwater, but Crockett. They both went up, and at Crockett actually took it away from his teammate. With four minutes and 40 seconds left in the half, Elway shoots it into the middle to Rod Smith. First down, 13 on the foot, some motion. Elway. Chased by Griffin, dumps it off to Griffith, his fullback, and he has his first catch. But they're mobile. That's true of the Steelers as well. The throw downfield is sharp. Backpedaling with a catch. Left in the half. McCaffrey in motion. Elway to Howard Griffith. And the fullback is to the goal line. Touchdown. Howard Griffith. And how about this? Did not score a touchdown rushing or receiving all year. He's got one today in the playoffs. I checked those gloves. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he have gloves on. He checked those hands. Out in the flat. It's a blitz by the Steelers. Sticks that left hand out, brings it right in. Hey. Griffith had never scored on a touchdown pass. That's the 41st receiver in Elway's history to score. As Elam adds the extra point, and Denver reclaims the lead at 17-14. John Elway, he's still excited about this throw because he knows it's not good. When your receiver bails you out, not only does he catch it, but he scores. John Elway in the closing minutes of the first half, four for four, 15 on the touchdown to Howard Griffith for the lead. Those are showing a heavy blitz. Are they all coming? Yes, they are. And the throw into the flat end complete to Hawkins as Stewart had no chance to find an open man. Miller, it's a good one. Spirals it deep to the 25. Gordon, 30, 35, 40. And 45, 20 on the return. Two timeouts left. Elway throws it long. And Smith and a flag down, and he was held by Carnell Lake is going to be the call. Seconds left. Davis to the 10-yard line. Elway into the flat to McCaffrey. 
Bright fights to the pylon. Did he get in? No. They're going to mark it at the one to two yard line. Anyway, but they were short. 16 seconds. Elway rolls up. Same play to McCaffrey. Touchdown. Same play that got them to the one. And McCaffrey wide open in front of Myron Bell. And what a final two minutes for John Elway and the Broncos as they have scored two touchdowns in the two minutes of the half. The quarterback away from trouble. If they blitz and you throw the ball, the ball to your biggest, most physical receiver, Ed McCaffrey, six foot five, can go down, push off a little if he has to, create some separation for the touchdown. What a block by Howard Griffith. He's the guy that opened it up for Elway. Uh, Jason Elam adds the extra point. And in 30 seconds, Elway and the Denver Broncos go 54 yards and claim a 24-14 lead. 10 until the final two minutes when Elway took charge and the Broncos with a pair of touchdowns enjoy the lead at halftime. 24-14. Blitz. Good pickup by the Steelers. Finally, that quarter gets through, but the catch by Thigpen, and a first down. Working with the Steelers to show something offensively here in their first possession, and they are. Bettis rumbles to the 16. Flag down, down the side, the throw complete, and it's Thigpen again. Stewart to the end zone, intercepted. Leaping high, Allen Aldridge, the middle linebacker to deny. The Steelers, what a big play. The second time in the game, Stewart intercepted in the Bronco end zone. 242 left in the third. Stewart. Caught. Charles Johnson, his first catch of the day. That's ruled a sack, by the way. Second and 11 for Stewart with three seconds left in the quarter. Eludes the rush. And then the second hit, a fumble. And recovering is number 97, Mike Lodish of the Denver Broncos. And at the end of the third quarter, the turnover has Stewart played with two interceptions in this half and now a fumble. Fast defense, they keep hustling, they make the play. We'll start the fourth quarter, Denver's ball with a 10-point lead. catch in the open field by Rod Smith and a first down at the 35 yard line. Denver 7 of 10 on third down. Not this time as a sea of black inundates Elway. His second sack. First and 10 Steelers. Blitz from Gordon. Stewart straight arms him away. Scramble stops, throws, and completes. 49 yards, another blitz. And the quick pass works. Courtney Hawkins close to a first receiver. Stewart in the shotgun. Kick that. Doesn't get out of bounds. Does have the first down. Over the middle. Hawkins to the 15 yard line. Stewart. Lots of time. Somebody might be open. It's Johnson. Charles Johnson. Touchdown. Johnson and it is a three-point game 24 21 this is what I'm talking about look at Cordell he's once he sees Johnson you watch him tell him now keep coming just come on across I'm gonna throw the ball to the outside you go get it thank you I like that good job by him getting in balance two minutes 46 seconds remember back in five wide receivers and Shannon Sharp steals the catch and is down at the 33-yard line. How did he come away with the ball? 18-yard completion. Now the pressure on the Steeler defense as Elway rolls out, pumps it to McCaffrey. McCaffrey stays inbounds but has another first down at the 44-yard line. Second and eight, 52 seconds. Davis protecting the ball, but he has a first down. And Stays inbounds at the Pittsburgh 35, and that should just about wrap it up for the Denver Broncos. They're celebrating over on the far sidelines. Another first down, and the clock is running. 
Neil Smith, who left the terrific team, the Kansas City Chiefs, they couldn't sign him, comes to Denver for much, uh, a half or less of the salary that uh, he was gaining in Kansas City. He wanted to be with a team with a chance. Romanowski, you saw, he knows the feeling. He was a member of a Super Bowl champion in San Francisco. And, uh, of course, the man that they'll all be uh, chronicling, the headliner, John Elway, one kneel down away from his fourth Super Bowl trip. And that'll do it as the Denver Broncos, the wild cards, have won three in a row on the road. And Mike Shanahan's team goes to San Diego, the AFC champions. And another team that tormented them this year, Bill Cowher's Pittsburgh Steelers. The final score, 24-21. Denver the winner, the trophy presentation. Don Shula celebrating the 25th anniversary of that unbeaten Miami Super Bowl champion team will present the Lamar Hunt Trophy. Don't go away. We'll be back in Pittsburgh in a moment.